Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the problems on number systems. Uh, this is the last session in number systems. So, see the first question. Find the number of factors of uh, 1440. How to calculate number of factors? First of all, if you want to calculate number of factors, you need to write the given number in terms of prime factors. So, I will write a uh, Whatever the equation I just uh, came into mind, I will just write down that expression. Whether it is a prime number combination or not. Here just by seeing the number 144, I can write it as 12 square into 10. That is uh, came into my mind. As 0 is there at the end, so that is the reason why 10. And I can write this 10 as 2 into 5. And next coming to here 2 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number. But 12 is not a prime number. How can I write this 12? Here it is 3 into 4 which is nothing but uh, 3 into 4 is nothing but 2 square. So 3 into 2 square that is the value of 12 and whole square is there. Into 2 into 5. Now you can write down all the values. 3 square into 2 square whole square means 2 power 4 into 2 into 5 1440 which is equal to how many 2's are there overall 2 power 5 into 3 power 2 into 5 power 1 this is the value of uh, 1440 in terms of uh, prime factors this is the first step to calculate number of factors now once this step is done, calculating number of factors is very simple. Adding 1 to the powers and then multiplying uh, each other. Here the power of first, uh, first prime number is 5. 5 plus 1 into power of second prime that is 2. 2 plus 1 into power of third prime 1. 1 plus 1. Multiply all the values. Here it is 6 into 3 into 2. 6 into 3. 18. 18 into 2, 36. Therefore, the number of factors, the number of factors for the number 1440, which is equal to 36. 36 is a required answer for this question. Next question. If 1 by 8 of a pencil is black, half of the remaining is white. Half of the remaining is what? White. And uh, remaining 3 and a half, 3 1 by 2 centimeters is blue. Then what is the total length of the pencil? Let us take the total length of the pencil is x. Total length of the pencil is x. Now in this x by 8, x by 8 is black. x by 8 is black. So if x by 8 is black, what is the remaining left over? If you want the remaining, every time you need to subtract uh, whatever the value is uh, removed for black. Uh, just subtract that black value from the total. Total is x, x minus x by 8 which is equal to 7x by 8. Right? That is the remaining value. Now, half of the remaining value. In 7x by 8, half value. That is uh, 7x by 16. Half of the remaining is white. This is equal to white. Now, if half is white, automatically the remaining is half only. Half of this remaining. 7x by 16. This 7x by 16 is blue. 7x by 16 is blue. And the value of blue is given in terms of centimeters, which is equal to 3 1 by 2 centimeters. 3 1 by 2 means uh, that is uh, 6 plus 1 7 by 2 right 7 by 2 now you can cancel 7 7 and uh, 2 1 sir 2 8 times therefore x is equal to 8 centimeters that is the length of the pencil x is equal to 8 centimeters which is the total length of the pencil if you want the individual lengths of white black and blue then also you will get the answer black is equal to how much x by 8 whereas white is equal to 7x by 16 similarly blue is equal to 7x by 
16. These are the individual values of uh, uh, individual values of black, white, and blue, and the total length of that particular pencil is 8 centimeters. That is the required answer. Next question. If numerator and denominator are increased by 20 percentage and 30 percentage respectively, the fraction becomes 9 by 13. Let us take the fraction as 100x and 100y. 100x by 100y. Why I am taking 100x by 100y? Because the reason is here, here I am taking this value in terms of the values are given in terms of percentage. That is the reason why I am taking the fraction as 100x and 100y. Just calculation is little bit of easy if I take uh, 100x and 100y. Even though if you take x by y then also you will get the answer. But calculation part will be little bit of difficult. That's it. Here the numerator and denominator. Numerator is increased by 20%. Therefore, the original numerator becomes uh, 120x. And coming to the denominator, that is also increased by 30%. Therefore, the denominator value is 130y. The fraction becomes 9 by 13. The fraction becomes 9 by 13. What is the original fraction? So, here you can cancel 0, 0. And this is 13, 13 cancel. And this is 3 times and this is 4 times. Now, x by y is equal to 3 by 4. x by y is equal to 3 by 4. That is the original fraction. Original fraction. 100x by 100 by which is nothing but uh, x by y only. Both are cancelled. Therefore, x by y is equal to 3 by 4. That is the original fraction. Last question in this session. In an examination, a student scores uh, 4 marks for every correct answer and uh, loses 1 mark for every wrong answer. Here for every correct answer 4 marks gained and for every wrong answer 1 mark uh, loses. If he attempts all 75 questions and secures uh, 125 marks, if he attempts total 75 questions are there, and if he attempts all 75 questions, he secures 125 marks. Now, the question what he is asking is, uh, the number of questions uh, he attempts correctly. The number of questions uh, he attempts uh, correctly. Suppose, for example, see, total 75 questions are there. Out of those, some questions are correct, some questions are wrong. We don't know how many questions are correct and how many questions are wrong. Let us take the number of questions which are corrected. That is x. Automatically the remaining whatever the number of questions left over. From the total you need to subtract. Suppose for example 40 questions are correct. Automatically remaining 35 questions are wrong. Why? Because he attempted all the questions. Right? So uh, if I don't know the value of uh, correct questions. So I will take the correct answer sir x. If correct answers are x, automatically remaining 75 minus x which are wrong answered questions. Now, for every correct answer, 4 marks. Here, x questions are correct. That means 4 into x. And for every wrong answer, there is a negative mark which loses 1 mark. Here, we should not add this one. We have to subtract. Minus 1 into 75 minus x. After adding these two, what you will get here? 125 marks. Total marks obtained is 125 marks. Here, 4x minus 75 plus x, which is equal to 125. Now, from this, 5x is equal to minus 75 goes to right side. It becomes plus 75. 125 plus 20, uh, 75. 200, right? Therefore, x is equal to 40. x is equal to how much? 40. We got the same answer as we take initially the assumption. Therefore, number of questions corrected, that is 40 questions and uh, wrong questions, wrong answer questions are uh, 35. So, the meaning of the question is uh, 14 to 4 mm, 
that is equal to 160. Each correct answer 4 marks. Whereas coming to wrong, wrong answer into 1 that is equal to 35. If you subtract this value from this you will get a 125. We got the same answer as that of the given question. In this way you can solve these kind of uh, questions. Uh, very important model. Guys uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.